what happened, Lynn, was uh, about two weeks ago I came out to uh, just uh, empty the, uh, the uh, garbage uh, container that we have on site here and uh, came across a large load of shingles. And uh, this would be a load that would have been on a dumping trailer. It was uh, quite large. Uh, it has been disposed of since then, but uh, basically uh, it is uh, really a tough thing in the mm. environment and uh, it really taxes our, uh, our limited uh, amount of workforce to, uh, to try to uh, clean up things like that. Well, here in the Hiawatha Highlands, uh, uh, we're noted for our cross-country trail system, uh, which is uh, maintained and operated by the Sioux Finnish Ski Club. There's, uh, there's over uh, 40 kilometers of trails that have been uh, in existence here for more than 60 years. We're just getting ready to start this season. Uh, uh, trail passes are available uh, at the Kinsman Centre through, uh, uh, through their office uh, uh, called Hiawatha Highlands. Mm -hmm. And uh, basically also behind me we have uh, the uh, start of the, uh, uh, the Snowmobile Trail and the Snowmobile Club is, uh, is getting ready to uh, open that gate as soon as the trail is ready to go, uh, which hopefully will be in the near future. But uh, this uh, trail uh, allows you access uh, uh, north to Search Mount and uh, uh, and get you on the system and uh, the, the parking area here is, uh, is called the staging area and it's at the end of Connor Road. Well it's pretty amazing that in Sault Ste. Marie we're just about a 10 or 15 minute drive from anywhere in the city and uh, basically we have uh, uh, for the most part uh, hiking is, uh, is at no cost to users, mm -hmm. uh, mountain biking uh, is at no cost to users, there is a fee for cross-country skiing because of the, uh, the cost incurred in maintaining and, uh, and preparing those trails but uh, basically uh, it's very popular to have uh, uh, this site uh, uh, in, uh, for our four seasons that we can enjoy.